Hi, my name is Elise Swopes. I'm a college dropout. I've been addicted to drugs and I've been to rehab. But I've also traveled all over the world, worked with billion dollar companies, and I own my own business. One of my favorite authors said, failure lies concealed in every success and success in every failure. And I, I believe that to be entirely true. You see, I grew up in the 90s, which means that most of my failures and successes were shared and learned through the internet. I'd like to believe that I was shaped by the internet, socially, personally, and creatively. Which means I'm kind of a child of the internet. My mom brought home a 1998 Apple iMac computer, and this is where my creative internet journey began. She tried her hardest to limit my time on the computer, keyword try, but I was so obsessed with it that I was on there as much as possible. I would use this program called KidPix, and it was this kid's type of Photoshop program. And eventually my dad got me my own computer, thankfully, and it had the real Photoshop downloaded on it. Thus began my career as a self-taught graphic designer. So I basically Googled anything and everything I wanted to learn. I eventually owned my first website when I was in sixth grade, and it taught people how to build their own websites, and it even had graphics for people to use. I eventually, in middle school, started selling MySpace layouts for McDonald's cheeseburgers. I'd like to believe this is where my successful entrepreneur mentality started. So, that's where I started my career, but eventually I taught myself how to take iPhone pictures. And thus began my career as an Instagrammer. And I didn't start taking photos until I started Instagram in 2010. Really, I was posting consistently. And eventually Instagram added me the, to the suggested user list, which was a list of suggested users that new users would see to be inspired by. I gained about 100,000 followers within a year, and eventually, uh, Instagram sold to Facebook, and the algorithm changed quite a bit, and I had to gain the rest of my quarter million followers myself. Eventually, I started traveling the world. I've been to places like Dubai, Paris, and Tokyo. I've even worked with brands like Adidas, and Apple, and Google. I even own my own business, Swopes LLC, and I have an assistant and a manager, a photographer team, videographers, a lawyer, a financial advisor, and I'll be quite honest, it's definitely something that I've had to get used to. Because I've always done things kind of by myself since I was a kid. My personal creative journey on the internet started when I, start, I was growing up in the suburbs of Chicago. And I'm a mixed kid, my mom is white and my dad is black, and growing up, I was never enough of one thing for anybody. And if I was, I was called a crybaby because I was really sensitive, or I was called Bugs Bunny because my front teeth were so big. But, you know, I didn't really know where I belonged, so that inspired me to really stay into my computer. I just loved that that was something I could control. Though, something I couldn't control. My parents were getting divorced, my peers were pushing me away, and I had a newfound attitude. I started pouring milk on teachers' desks at school. I started stealing from the mall, and I even started dabbling in drugs. I remember in high school trying to skip English class in the last four periods to rush outside to smoke cigarettes. I remember in college, I was so unmotivated that I felt like I needed Adderall to keep going, but it got out of control and I ended up in a psych ward in rehab. And in 2015, there was so much pressure that I felt I needed to take Xanax because I had so much anxiety and I didn't remember weeks of my life anymore. So I had to make a decision. I had to decide. I had to wake up. So... One day, I decided I quit everything. I started living clean. I stopped partying, I stopped doing drugs, and I stopped blaming everybody else for my problems. I started journaling, I started meditating, and I started practicing positive affirmations. 
One morning I woke up and I was searching Pinterest, of course, on the internet. And I was looking up positive affirmations and I found this book called The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. And The Power of Now is about being in the present moment. And this jump-started my journey of awareness and acceptance and mindfulness. I became aware that I was the cause of most of my problems. I became aware of why I was making the decisions I was making. I began to accept responsibility for those problems and started making changes based on those responsibilities. And within those responsibility, I made changes. And in those changes, I became more mindful in the present moment. So that allowed me to be less judgmental, more grateful, and I started seeing the positive side of things. It even helped me become better socially. You see, I, I grew up, I was homeschooled until third grade. Uh, my closest friends were my cousins, my little brother, and the characters on my computer. I grew up with a really, really religious father, um, but he was an amazing, amazing teacher nonetheless. But with my mom's effort, I started school in third grade. And unfortunately, because I lacked such social skills, I was a little troublemaker. I didn't listen. I hardly followed the rules. And I really just wanted to do my own thing. So it really wasn't a surprise <laughs> when I graduated high school and the day I was finished, I moved to the city for college. And even though I thought that it was this little town that didn't understand me. Even in college, I felt a little separated. So I didn't even live in the dorms. I hardly made friends in school, but I made all my friends on the internet. So I dropped out my freshman year. I didn't really know what I wanted to do, but I know that I communicated best on the internet. I started to realize that maybe most of my skills were bred on the internet. You see, I talked about most of my feelings through the live chatting of AOL Instant Messenger. I acquired most of my writing skills through the online public diary platform, Zanga. And I even started learning most of my HTML coding skills through MySpace. And I created my own educational curriculum through Google. <laughs> but you know, when I started Instagram, it wasn't an intentional that this is going to be a, a business for myself. It really was just for fun. I was posting selfies and pictures of my food and of my cats. And it wasn't until I started getting connected to the Instagram community itself, meeting different photographers, different artists, that I started seeing outside of the box. And I started learning and using the design skills that I had already taught myself. And eventually, I stayed so consistent. And I, I gained followers and friend, friends and fans from all over the world. And I started getting paid to post. I started working with brands like Coach and Burger King and Kellogg's. I even did a project takeover for Casamigos, which is, was George Clooney's tequila brand. And an agency that was working on their Instagram told me that George Clooney was a fan of my work. But they didn't have the budget to pay me, so they paid me in 12 tequila bottles, and I took it happily. <laughs> I also traveled to Costa Rica, and I went to protect sea turtles at 3 a.m. in the morning from poachers with Jacques Cousteau's niece, which is one of the most prolific marine biologists of our time. Since then, I've been able to do workshops and classes and public speaking engagements about my work and my life. Today, I have a podcast. It's called Swoop So Dope, the podcast. And I talk about mental health and social media and mobile photography. And it's kind of crazy to think that I still talk to people from all over the world on the internet the same way I always have. And, you know, some people like to think, and I like to think as well, that there is a negative side to the internet, but I like to believe that it made me who I am. Sometimes I do, I, I wish I could go back and look at a lot of the conversations I had on AOL Instant Messenger. I wish I could see the diary entries that I made on Zanga 
or I wish I could see a lot of the layouts that I made on MySpace just to get a little inspiration from where I came from. But I don't think I really need to. Because the, inter the, the internet is brand new every single day. It offers us brand new possibilities and opportunities and responsibilities if you look in all the right places. And this is coming from a child of the internet who's proud to live in the moment. Thank you.